My name's Gareth Jones. I'm a project development specialist working for Indiva, and I'm spending most of my time working here on the Ribbon Hall site. We're building an integrated waste management facility on site here, which will include an energy from waste plant. There's a lot of excavation work to be done. So we're digging out a hole of 1.3 million cubic metres of soil. That will be taken across the site and used to restore other parts of the quarry, which will be turned back into farmland eventually. It's a big project. There's a huge amount of earthworks involved in it, but it means we'll be able to take waste from Essex and from the surrounding areas potentially as well. Even so, the general residual waste normally has about 2% of it is metal, even though people have recycled their metal, there's always metal in it. So for a 600,000 tonne incinerator, we'll be recovering about 12,000 tonnes of metal each year, which will then be recycled and sent back off to scrap metal merchants for reprocessing. So everything that comes in will get a use, either turned into energy and turned into electricity to export to the grid, or turned into aggregate to use in road construction, or the metal will be recovered and, and recycled. The actual construction site is only a relatively small part of the site. And we've also got over to the side, we've got the old farm building. So we've got some listed buildings which have got to be restored. They'll be refurbished so we can use them as an office or visitor centre. There's also some old World War II buildings which we're going to be preserving. So they'll be part of a museum display of some kind as well. Of course, there's lots of wildlife on site. We've got bats living there in the woods. We've got a medieval moat that goes around the farm buildings. That's got great crested newts that living in it, which are also protected. So we've got to make sure we're keeping an eye on all of the landscape. Our Indiva's motto is uh, leading the field in sustainable waste management. We're always looking to see what else can we do, what new technologies can we bring, and how can we improve waste management.